I um, get really worked up when I see videos of people kind of like mocking bulimia in a sense like bulimia is a very very serious addiction and it um, will kill people um, uh, primarily in the sense of either through suicide or through cancer because of the high sugar consumption and I take it very serious and so when I see these things I find it really irritating so I'm gonna dissect this video yeah so this is some new thing that Haley's doing where it's called who's in my bathroom so she literally has people come eat in her bathroom which is kind of like the epitome of laziness of a bulimic because it's like you literally don't even want to walk up the stairs now to vomit you're just like let's just eat the food in the bathroom because we're already in the bathroom so let's just vomit because we're already here so it's like Who's in my bathroom? And there's a huge platter. And you may be wondering why, once again, I have all of this in my bathroom. Food in your bathroom. But we're going to get to that in a second. I want to introduce to you guys my next very, very special guest, Miss Addison Ray. Situation is going to be explained in a second, but it's pretty much going to be an ode to where you po boy sandwiches. Louisiana. You can tell them no right now because um, they're not. This part they're just kind of not going to talk about. I'll tell you when to turn it back up because it's the part where I want them to hear. Right now they're just going to talk about like her or whatever. Tell me a but bit about where you're from. Later when they talk about the food is when I want you guys to hear. But okay. Okay, so they're pre-cut. Which okay, here we go. They already started talking about the foods. Now we got it. So whoever cut this in your bathroom. Okay, so they're in the bathroom. They're dissecting. The, okay, the thing like is, what I found actually like very interesting. We could pause this for one second. Is I thought in my memory because I kind of forwarded the video because I really didn't care to hear uh, about this person too much. But in my mind, I kind of thought they would have talked a little longer about who she was and stuff. But I realized as bulimics, they cannot wait to get to the food. I mean, it was like one minute and 19 seconds in. And because even Haley was going to ask her some questions, and then she's like, oh, let's just get to the food. So they're like, because a bulimic is such a food addict, and they're highly addicted to sugar. So as soon as food is in front of them, they kind of like start to zone out in a sense. Like they become now, it'd be like, if uh, a heroin addict was standing there and they were fiending for heroin and it was just sitting on the table and you were trying to have a conversation with them and they're like, you know, like getting the shake, you know, or like someone really addicted to alcohol, it's the same thing. It's that addicting, if not actually more addicting. Sugar is actually the most addictive substance on the planet. So the girls couldn't wait for one minute, one minute and 19 seconds to get into the food. And what they have on here is the biggest piece of bread. I mean, even bigger than the Subway foot long. I'm like, I don't even know what size. It was like, you know, when your grandma would get the bread that you'd cut up in, in, for like everyone that you'd put the, you know, the butter and the garlic on. I think that's the one that they're using for one sandwich a piece. Like the <laughs> huge loaf. So they got that. And then they have all of these things they're going to put on here and sauces and things. And these two girls are both models, actresses, you know, TikTok. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's keep watching. I played like sports in high school. And like boot in. But do you know what that is? Putting this they're on so the euphoric. Forward. It's like drug addicts that are about to like. They're, I mean, they're feeding for this. Look at their. They're what pouring the sauces. Okay, okay. I gotta pause. Sauces have so much sugar and so many calories that like anyone that cares about their body would do really <coughs> minimal on the condiments. And bulimics douse in condiments because it's much easier to vomit when things are um, have more um, uh, how you say like they're more squishy. So like a sandwich that's really bready and and and, and dry, you want to douse it with condiments. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck in your throat when you go to throw up, and you also need to drink a lot of beverages to get it back out. Mm. So like that's why 
bulimics love condiments and like the more juicy something is so like the dryness is harder to vomit so if you ever know a bulimic you'll find them just condiments i mean just condiments insane amount ketchups mayonnaise is ranch dressing is a favorite they are now doing some thousand island chipotle sauce they're talking about and she doesn't even they're gonna about to talk about they don't even know what this sauce is and they're dousing it watch they don't even know what she's gonna say she doesn't even know what it is I'm getting, it's giving, it's giving relish, Thousand Island, Chipotle situation, I don't know. Is that correct? I don't know. More traditionally for me, I, it's like usually like a mayo, mustard, ketchup. They don't even know what it is, but they're dousing their sandwich like with it. Dish they don't even care, they're putting every condiment. Have you ever had crawfish? And, and okay, no crawfish model crawfish can crawfish eat this yes. without vomiting. So I they are now putting about, like, your life crispy chis chicken. Pre oh, jeez. Crispy chicken, okay? They're not going for grilled. Normally someone, if they were weight conscious at all, might consider grilled chicken sandwiches. They literally have popcorn chicken, it looks like. Crispy fried popcorn chicken on top of a basically sea of lettuce and tomatoes and a, uh, a river of condiments and your grandma's um, family size what do you call that? Garlic bread. <laughs> Size. Uh, sandwich. Loaf. loaf. You know what I'm talking about? Bread. Like the thing when you would like put the, the whole loaf. thing. Yeah. yeah. Where grandma would open it in half and it's like this huge thing that the whole family and relatives all eat off of. That's for That's, a whole family. That's what yeah. They person. are one of them eating. Each of them are eating. Each of them are eating it. They're not splitting it in half and sharing it. No, they're eating. I mean, they can't even get their mouth around it later. I went to a really small That's how big school. it is. I was ranked seventh in my class. Wow. I would have been ranked like... They're trying to have conversations, but they can't get away from the food now. They're literally eating and touching the food the entire time now because all conversation has really just been like, when can I get this food in and out of my belly now? It, that's what happens. I know because I was a bulimic and you become so obsessed with looking at this stuff of like, you're already like just drooling over this food, but then you also know you need an escape. To, but luckily, they're in the bathroom, and so I they don't have to escape very far. Yeah, like I, I'm gonna make the dance team at LSU. I know I will. I tried. They're out, already eating now. Didn't make it. No, which is I very weird to eat on camera, what anyways. Like literally. Like a lot of people um, back in the day would have never ate like on camera. Like now, since the celebs are all bulimic for the most part, they have no problem eating on camera. Okay, so they're like, about yeah, to take a bite of the biggest sandwich I've talk. ever seen in my entire life. I think I'm ready for LA. So here yeah, you go. LA's calling. This sandwich Welcome is a family size sandwich. Look at this. Boy sandwich shop with Haley Bieber. Look at this sandwich they're going to take a bite of. Yes, we're, we're this going to devour this. This is bulimia. It's going to be delicious. They made it really juicy so, so that they can vomit it, it later. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Haley's going to brag about the big bite she takes. That's a bulimic thing to brag about. Oh. Mm. Did you even get anything other than bread? Also, <laughs> I want everyone to see how big of a bite that was. Mm. Mm, bigger. This mouse was made for eating. Yeah. Well, I wanted them to hear that part. Hold like, on. oh, what that mouth do? It's it it so boys. This. This. What's the mouth? Okay, so that's a good place to stop and go to the commercial. Okay. Most small girls are very self-conscious about the amount of food they would eat because women are told to not overeat. We're promoted, you know, like it's not ladylike. Bulimics, on the other hand, tend to praise the amount of food they ate. So Haley took the biggest bite you would ever see out of that po' boy sandwich and then she bragged about that she took the biggest bite and then she literally said her mouth is only made for eating povoids. <coughs> what does, what that mouth do? It eats povoids. That is the direct quote by Haley Road Beaver. What that mouth do? It eats povoids. So of all the things in the world that Haley Beaver could do with her mouth in the sense of she's a celebrity, she has a voice, she has followers, she could really help the world she has money she could help people 
but she decided with her mouth the only priority is to eat. This mouth was made for eating. That that's the only quote they give for her so far in the whole thing is what that mouth do, it eats po boys. That's the important thing out of everything that we've watched so far of four minutes and 39 seconds, we wanna know that that's Haley Bieber's priority. This mouth was made for eating. I think this is like my child. Same. They're saying it's like their child because <laughs> it's the size of a child, for one thing. The sandwich is as big as a small child. But the other reason is because that is their priority in life. A sandwich is more important than a child. A sandwich is more important than anything to them. That sandwich is everything to them. That is like, that is life to them. <laughs> Eating po' boy sandwiches. There's nothing better in life to them than eating a po' boy sandwich. Well, I moved to LA December 2019 by myself. So your parents were like, yeah, you can go. They know those it. things. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it if my parents didn't move out here, which they moved out two months after I moved here, and I was like, Mom and Dad, I need help. <laughs> Where did it kind of just start going crazy from there? Because it did start going crazy, crazy. Yeah. Wonder, like, who I was. And I've been having a song. Right now they're, like, on a high because they're just reading. Full name as a title. And now they're, we're coming out and of the pandemic. And they're about to vomit. everywhere you go. And you gotta finish their sandwich. I know this is insane because it's 11 a.m., but we may I have already vomited think I need dessert. Cut. You just took the words oh. right out of my no, mouth. No, they're talking about dessert. Can somebody please so step in and clear See. the whole boy station? This was See. so great. We're gonna make some ice cream sundaes that represent the Addison Sunday and the Haley Sunday. Shout out to Craig. I haven't even watched this far. No, I, 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 but then already they need another snack, is what happened. So she's like, I want dessert now. Okay, so what just happened is they clearly took a break to vomit because they were really, really euphoric and then they kind of calmed down. But then in the middle of this now calmer session, they want more food. And that's what happens. That's the binge and purge process. You binge, purge, binge, purge. Because as soon as you purge, you're ready to eat again. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe this. I hadn't seen this yet. Oh my lord. So oh yeah. my god almighty. Perfectly chocolate. I First only saw the po boys. And Melrose Mint. Holy. Do the three bottoms. I'm gonna a. do peanut butter and mint chip. If it someone cannot butter, butter, believe that these girls are bulimic, I am like, oh my freaking god. Are you seriously? This is like a mockery of like like any oh my god it, are you kidding me they brought out gummy bears whipped cream three different kinds of um chocolate your own in this um, industry, your all thing. different kinds of ice cream oh my god you guys no model can eat like this and not vomit this is insane this is insane. Oh, for Chris Jenner. Thank you, Chris. I love you. Hershey's. Syrup. And the Jenners are all Some Jenners and Kardashians are all scoop. bulimics too. She said, "Thank you, Chris Jenner." Right then, yeah, because they are all bulimics. Oh my gosh! Sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, caramel, chocolate, whipped cream, gummy bears. And look at the way Hailey Bieber is hiding her body in this attire. Hailey Bieber used to have a really great body, and I say used to because the more she's bulimic, the worse her body will get. Because this is the thing about bulimia people don't understand. They think they can just eat this amount of sugar and vomit it, but that's not what happens. You <coughs> actually absorb the sugar. All you're gonna do is vomit all of the other stuff, like the calories, but all of the sugar gets absorbed, so the sugar starts to put all of these added in its pockets, like her arms are getting big, and her stomach is fat, that's why she's not showing it. She's covering, she's wearing pants so high, they're almost up to her boobs because she's covering her gut right now, because she keeps eating, and when you're in the middle of a binge, you get really bloated too. So like, right now her tummy is bloated because she's kind of in the middle of a binge with this, because she probably, even if they went to the bathroom, they probably had a short 
vomit session. So she's gonna have a huge vomit session after this girl leaves her bathroom. And that's what you do. You kind of, if you have people around, you have like maybe a small vomit session, you go to the bathroom real quick, you gotta come back, maybe do more. But like at the end of this, she's gonna like have a full on vomit session. And, but the problem is sugar feeds cancer. So no matter if they vomit, all that so sugar is being absorbed sunset, every single time and feeding the cancer and Kristen's candida. Kristen's PB Crunch oh. and Melrose Mint Chip. I'm going to do the three bottoms. I'm going to do... Oh my god, they're doing three chip. different it's types of ice cream. Mint chip ice cream with like actual peanut butter is so bomb. You're coming into your own in They're this putting industry, peanut, peanut the butter industry, in their ice cream? You have dated quite publicly. I know a little bit Did about she say she was going to add peanut butter to the ice cream? Guy, and I've learned a lot about oh what I'm willing gosh. to share and what I'm not and my privacy and my boundaries. I never really made it a point to like share, you know, details about anything. And I, I think can't understand kind of why people just want to watch bulimics like, eat. This is insane. It, you know? They want to believe that being it fat to, like, is healthy of, like, and that it's not the fact that you that eat too much. Seeing it and, like, and that it's like, oh my gosh, she's dousing in caramel. Dousing her. Relationship stuff. Oh my so gosh. Douse, I think the oh, just dousing. Her Sunday just means put everything small. in a ton and of it. She, oh, now she, oh, whipped cream right into the mouth. Private. Keep, that know, is so much sugar. Private. So much sugar. Food. A model cannot. Oh, put it in the other girl's mouth now. Relationship. Boys. <laughs> oh my god. So my last question for you before we put these Sundays away and play a very fun game is where do you Where we go vomit? Hopefully starring in, you know, uh, hopefully not dying of cancer. He's all that. But I'm planning place. to head that way in the food that I'm eating. August 27. You guys, that Seven amount of sugar in their bowls Mary. is so Mary. astronomical. Mary. It is so astronomical. And people eat like this, not just bulimics. The amount of sugar is insane. So prior to now, like back hundreds of years ago, you could never consume that much sugar. It wouldn't be possible. There wouldn't be things that had that much sugar that you could get your hands on. Now, in one fell swoop, these girls can consume thousands of grams of sugar in one vomit session. That is so detrimental. <laughs> and sugar is the most addictive drug on the planet. So these girls are so highly addicted and they are so high right now on sugar. They are so high. Yeah, hopefully I'll be married like next year. Oh my God, do you know what's so funny is I made a face but I actually was married at 21. And you'll be invited. And I love that. Wedding. If I redo my vows ever in life, then you can come be there. I'll be there with a Sunday and a po' boy in hand. <laughs> oh my God. We're done with the Sundays. Team, please come remove so we can play a fun game yeah. of shoot or troop. But they gotta go bomb it. They had to go bomb it. So they took a break. We are going to take a mini basketball and try to get into yeah, this. Yeah, they took a huge break. break. If you miss, you have to She had to vomit. So, uh... Vomiting causes, um, uh, it makes your voice hoarser and hoarser the longer and longer you do it. So, um, since she's still young, she's not super hoarse, but she's going to get more and more hoarse. Most um, artists start to lose their singing voice because of the bulimia. She's not a singer, but her husband is, and he vomits with her. That's the thing. These couples that do it together, it can get really bad because the frequency of it because since they don't have to lie to each other they can just openly vomit like crazy together and eat so much together and so the, their addiction is going to um, escalate so much quicker than people that are even having to lie about it because if you lie you might have to like not be able to do it all the time so you'd have to sneak around so it'd be like less frequent than like oh honey let's go get another pizza let's go get another two dozen donuts oh let's go get <coughs> bake another cake let's make two dozen cookies let's just like you do it together and you're just constantly eating and vomiting that it's like that's why Justin and Haley are looking worse and worse each year and they've only been together for a couple years it's crazy like if you look back to when they first started dating I mean Haley's arms are getting huge she tries to hide it because she's a really good model but her arms are getting huge and she was tiny when they first got together like she was still looking really good because at that point, like I said, when you're young and you're having to maybe not, not do it as often and you're hiding it from maybe your family or friends,
But now her and Justin are fully open with it. I can tell because I can see they eat a shit ton of food together and they brag about it. So I know that they're openly um, bulimic together. Well, then it's just escalating so quickly. It's just a really, really strong addiction. They are highly addicted to sugar. Show the little shorties how you pump and they're done. Not to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm a jail. My feet with the Kanye yo. Name on the marquee. Your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day old. And it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a roll or sinker. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up, up or get out, get down and lay down. The same as the shadows, the shadows, the shadows. Old Jedi, Black Jedi, Black Jedi, Black Jedi, Black Jedi. Black Jedi. Black Jedi. Black Let's move. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kali Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. The cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary, full of grace. Jedi. Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Four, seven. Seven. seven one eight and that's like every, every night, night and every, every day from the place that i settle and sing to the state so i'm collecting my pain last off and i'm back to the cave hold it down for my family straight represent in a family way football not for amateur play being raw since the amateur state before the press and the camera's raised like a long time out of the way you understand the straight yeah yeah no doubt excellence And that's what it is, you see. 